Hi everyone and good evening and welcome to the Constellation Crew, a presentation with students from here at Ball State University. Tonight we have the whole crew on camera here. Uh, we have Melanie, Caleb, Greg, and Nicolette, and we have an amazing program ready for you. We're going to be using a free program called Stellarium to explore the sky tonight. And some of the constellations you can see the next clear night here in Muncie, and it looks like it's gonna be clear tonight. So um, keep watching and get ready to watch all of the interesting things or be able to find all of the interesting things that you can see tonight here. Um, so we have a really great constellation crew plan for you all to wrap up the semester. We did this last semester, all semester long, and then uh, we continued the constellation crew this semester and we presented 22 presentations, not including tonight. And uh, we explored lots of different constellations during those presentations and more than just the constellations, the pictures that we can see in the sky, but the objects that are inside those constellations that we can explore and learn from. Um, things like galaxies, black holes, nebulae, clouds of gas and dust in space. So we've explored so much and we're gonna wrap it up by doing this really interesting um, kind of activity that Melanie suggested. So Melanie, do you wanna introduce it for people? Sure. So as Dana said, um, this actually happened in a dream of mine because I thought it sounded so fun. Um, so I figured we should try it out tonight. So what we're going to be doing is essentially playing sort of Constellation Pictionary. And to do that, you're going to see one of the crew members drawing one of the, of the constellations listed on the screen onto the screen. Um, and you're going to have a chance to put your guesses in the chat um, and see if you can try and beat us. Um, we don't know what we're going to draw. So it'll be as much of a mystery to us as it will to you. Awesome. All right, so uh, just to recap here, we have all of the constellations that we have explored during the Constellation Crew over the last academic year listed in red here. And we're going to use um, Zoom's drawing tools to be drawing on our background here, which is the program Stellarium. It's free. Um, I'm gonna give you a link to it in a little bit. But let's jump right in. Um, who wants to go first? I think Melanie, it's you, right? Totally, I'll go first. Okay, so Melanie is going to pick any of these constellations and draw it, and the crew is going to try to figure out what it is, but we want you watching to try to figure out what it is too, okay? So if you think you know what constellation Melanie's drawing, then put your answer in the chat and we will let you know if you've got it. We wanna give everyone kind of a chance um, to participate. So some of the crew members here might, might realize it before other people do. Okay, so Melanie's background is green, so her text here or her drawing is gonna be green too. And that's quite interesting. <laughs> I think I know what it is already. Mm. Oh, it's good it too, yeah. <laughs> Wait, this was literally Wait. the one I was thinking about too. Yeah, I have to, I have to get the end of this Wait, one. Wait, it could be like two of them. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I know what this one is now. Yeah, no, this is not the one I thought it was at first, for I know sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like the Mothman. <laughs> okay, I thought I knew what it was, and now I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, know, I know what it is. Yeah. We're making corrections. <laughs> Mel swerved, okay, that's Mel swerved all of us. <laughs> I really like the little, like, I'm assuming those are claws, like the little gloves on the claws. It's really hard. I think Greg is the only one who brought an actual stylist to do this event. Uh, everyone else is just it using with, a mouse it came pad. With the computer. I wasn't just, yeah. you know, super prepared. Yeah, everyone else has like, like a mouse or a mouse pad. Be. Okay, so I think that this is enough. I think we'll we'll let you go, Mel. Um, you don't have to do. draw anymore. Uh, so who thinks they know what it is? I do, but I want to know if the chat knows. <laughs> uh, no one has put an answer in the chat. So if you think you know what constellation this is, put it in the chat. And again, all of the constellations that we're going to draw are listed out on the left here. Okay. 
<laughs> don't know how many legs they're supposed to be. I think, like, yeah, you're about right. It's an arachnid, <laughs> right? So I think eight. Okay, so Colin says that it's Scorpius. Correct. It's Scorpius. Okay, great. I thought it was like cancer at first or something. I did too. Yeah. Okay. I, I knew for the moment she saw she drew the pincers. I knew yeah, that it was what it was. All right. Oh wow. Thank you so much, Colin. All right, so let's see. Caleb, you're next. Ooh, okay. <laughs> let's go, my guy. Let's go. Okay. Uh so this one's gonna be a little tough. I'll try this. Yeah, we're. I encourage people to pick the hardest ones um, first, so that we could really make this interesting. Or do what I was gonna do, which was pick an easy one but make it hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Okay. I think I know what it is already. I think I do too. So this does require, wait a second, I don't know if I know what it is anymore. Yeah, I, I don't know what exactly. this is, I have no idea. <laughs> the fact that it comes in frame by frame doesn't, oh, I got it. Yeah, there's a little oh, bit of a lag there. Okay, yep. Okay, uh, yep. Sorry, the, the, the part of the left is not really drawn well. I'm it not, took I'm me, not, I'm not ours, so. It took me a second too, um, but I think I got it. Okay, so. Anyone watching, what constellation do you think Caleb just drew? All the constellations that we're gonna draw are listed on the left or that we're gonna pull from because we're not gonna do all of them. Um, we might try though. All right, so this kind of requires you to know a little bit about the constellations listed here. Like what is Aquila? What is Auriga? Um, And if you're familiar with, I think Harry Potter, if I'm guessing this one correct, this looks like the last name of a Harry Potter character. Well, it's actually his first name. Uh, well, oh. that's correct. Oh. That is very oh. correct. I misspoke. I apologize. <laughs> At least you know you were right, though. Caleb's always right about the Harry Potter <laughs> references. I am an insane nerd. I don't know why it. I said I, last. I, part, I, I, like, I can remember exact quotes from the book. Like, you know, so. Yeah. What's your house, Caleb? My house is the venerable and smart Ravenclaw. Hmm? I could have guessed that. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, there's no guesses here, so let's go ahead and just reveal what uh, this is. Uh, well, not reveal, but uh, Melanie or Greg or Nicolette, what is this? What did Caleb draw? I'm guessing Draco. Ding, 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 you are correct. Okay, that, so that was Draco. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so we drew Draco the dragon and Scorpius the scorpion. Now, Nicolette is up. Oh no. <laughs> Try next. <laughs> okay. And again, uh, if you if you think you know what Nicolette's drawing, put it in the chat. Try to get it before anyone else can. I guess I'll do this one. Nicolette, we had like 45 minutes before this. <laughs> <today>. <laughs> Okay, but like I don't want. I wanted to pick an easy one, but make it difficult. Okay, and then right. has an idea. Yeah. I got it. We it's can... not working because some of you are gonna guess it right away. Mm. Is okay. it pizza? No, sorry. I was gonna guess the Illuminati at <laughs> first. <too. laughs> uh, I think I know what it is now. Uh, yeah, I think I think I, I know what it is. Think I know what it is too. Is it one of the ones that I starts no with a idea. C? <laughs> Is it one of the ones what? That starts with a C. C Senor. Rita. Yeah, so there's six <laughs> constellations here that start with a C. Uh, uh, I wonder if I wonder if all the out of all the eighty eight constellations, how many of them start with C? C for constellation. Mm. Cause there's six here. Like that seems a little I don't know. It seems a little interesting. Okay, so this looks like a house. And there's a constellation that kind of looks like a house, but it's not a house, but it looks like one. And 
I'm not sure if anyone watching uh, will be able to get this. So, crew, does anyone have an idea? I'm going to take a wild guess here and say it's Cepheus. That would be my guess, too. Nicolette? It's yes. Cepheus. Okay, so Cepheus is a king, um, but instead of a king in the sky with, like, a crown on the head, a lot of people see a house-shaped a group of stars in the northern sky. So, okay, so that was Cepheus. Okay, so we did King down. Cepheus. Oh, yeah. That would have been harder. <laughs> My pathetic little flower. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's upside down because it is in the northern sky and those stars kind of... Uh, they are all, they're, they're so always down. oriented, like, you know, right side up. So. Greg, a- you're next. Mm-hmm. All right, so Greg's up, drawing one of the constellations listed here on the left. All the constellations that we've explored this semester with the constellation crew. And Greg is the only one that actually brought a proper writing utensil, (laughs) drawing tool to the constellation crew this thing. (laughs) Aw, it's a squirrel. It's a mouse. The squirrels have whiskers? Oh, I know what it is. Oh. Is he on fire? I know what it is. I know what it is. Uh, Can't you see the mighty king of Africa, Simba? This makes sense. Hey, there you go. (laughs) You feel this makes sense because Greg has how many cats? (laughs) I have three cats. Yeah. So Greg has a lot of cats, and there's one big cat listed um, here, which is one of the signs of the zodiac. Anyone watching that knows what constellation Greg drew, put it in the chat. This one, I hope most people know this one, right? Constellation of the Zodiac, the big cat. Cats roar, they don't purr. The big ones do. Awesome, so Bella got Leo. Hey, Bella. And that is correct. All right, so we got Leo there. Okay, so Leo the lion was drawn superbly by Greg. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. All right. Does it have to be me next? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, yes. I'm gonna try. You yeah. know how I was like, we had 45 minutes to prepare. I don't know what I'm gonna draw. <laughs> um, Get inspired. Okay. Use your imagination. I'm going. I'm going to make it difficult. Yay! We love challenges. Okay. Oh, he's drawing. The, he's drawing the stars, actually. So. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh wait, I think I know what this is. Wait, it wasn't what I thought it was. <laughs> Did a Dorito? <laughs> Dorito. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope there's more. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm drawing this right. It's been a little while since I've seen this one. Now I know I was wrong. <laughs> okay, this this is the constellation, roughly. Oh. So this is your little map of the sky. And there's some stars here. Connect them. Oh, I might actually. Is this from last semester? Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Does it start with a C? No. <laughs> is it part of the summer triangle? <laughs> yes. It's okay. a part of the yeah, summer triangle. So this is a summer triangle here. This is the star Deneb. This is Vega. And this one is Altair. So what star is Vega a part of? Or what constellation is Vega a part of? Is it, a, is it Aquila? Aquila's down here. Alright. Oh. I know Aquila. Cygnus is one of them. This is Cygnus. <laughs> Great. Process right. of elimination. The Cygnus, the swan up here. No one left. Is it Lyra? A couple left. Lyra the harp. It's Lyra the harp. Yep. 
So Lyra is kind of like a little parallelogram thing and you can maybe draw like a harp, harp, harp in that star pattern, but not much. It's a great shape. Okay, Parallel so lograms. yeah, that was Lyra the harp right there. That's your little map. You got to find a triangle of stars. It's over there. Um, there's a lot of better ways to find Lyra the harp in the sky, but that's one of them. All right, I'm going to clear the drawings, but I think I'm going to have to do it the long way around because I crossed everything out. So while I'm doing this, um, Melanie, you're up again, and we'll go okay. through this last round pretty quick here. So Melanie, and again, if you're watching, um, you can put the answers or your guesses to what we're drawing in the chat and try to guess the constellation that we're drawing before anyone else here does. Try to make this one better. Make it count. I feel like they all start with a triangle somehow. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those basic drawing shapes, right? Yeah. yeah. A lot with squares. I, I see a lot of squares in the constellations too. Oh, I think I know what. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's an animal. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I know what it oh, is. Oh, okay. I think I know. Yeah, you know what it is. <laughs> That's the hint. Yeah. Okay. So I think the crew all knows what it is. But if you're watching and you want to take a guess as to what constellation Melanie just drew, put it in the chat. Because this is a that's a star, right? Yes. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Way cuter than when it started. Yeah. yeah. Um, Bell uh, says that it's can uh, Canis Ma Major. Excuse me, Canis Major. Is that correct, Mel? Yes, it is. Awesome. All right, so Canis Major, the big dog, and that does look like a dog. What's the what's the blue star? Explain that to our watchers here, our viewers. Uh, Sirius. That is Sirius, and what's special about Sirius? It's the brightest in the night sky. It is the brightest star in the night sky, and it's actually in the sky tonight after sunset, really close to the horizon. Um, so we were starting to see some stars in our simulation in the background here. And the bright star right here is Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky. We're not going to be able to see Sirius much longer, though, because um, it's setting earlier and earlier each night. And we're seeing new springtime constellations. So, OK, Caleb, you go one more time here. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, I am thinking a constellation that uh, and you might even know it was, it was one of my favorite, so. One of your favorites. Okay, so we got rid of this one. Burn it. I'm mad now. <laughs> Darn it. Where are you going to pick that one? Yes, and I had an epic drawing, which I will explain after we guess. <laughs> you can draw on top of this. Ooh, that's tempting. <laughs> Feel free. Yeah, go ahead, Nicolette. Draw on top of it. Um, I already, I think we all know what it is. People watching, if you can guess what this constellation that Caleb drew is, that'd be great. Yeah, Belle's got it in the chat. Belle said Orion. All right, but what's this epic drawing, Nicolette? Um, not the greatest, but we got a Yes, it is. Pretty epic, I'll be here. Honest. And, you know, he's running with some speed. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, I was going to draw our little um, scorpion buddy, because, you know, I'm the myth oh, person. Okay. It kind of yeah. looks like he's trying to use chemical warfare against the scorpion. <laughs> But yeah, that was the, this was our scorpion, and he was gonna chase him because um, the myth is is that Scorpius is in the opposite side of the sky as Orion because 
Corbius is chasing Orion, so he was gonna run away screaming. <laughs> Not trying to see if the scorpion's allergic to methane. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Oh yeah, I mean I guess I just didn't know how else to say that he was running. I guess I could have put like a shoe. That's not a shoe. <laughs> no, like... There you go. <laughs> He's the flash now. <laughs> okay. All right. Clear drawings. Uh, Greg. Oh, that, hmm. was, that was my spot. Got it. <laughs> All right. Uh... I don't know. I guess I did have 45 minutes, right? <laughs> A person. Dancing? He posed. I don't know what this is supposed to look oh, like. I, I just, think so I, you, just so I you know. I know what it is. Yeah. So a guy with a sword. That's a headband. A person with a sword. Sword. Yeah. <laughs> a person with a lot of hair. That's for sure. And a headband. Yeah, a shield too. Yeah. I thought they were bangs, maybe? Oh, wait, he's, like, he's got a headband. Okay, so it could be two... On. There's, like, two kind of warrior people left here, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. But which one? Yeah. So, I want to say it's Hercules because of the hair, hair, you know? Yeah. Where's his muscles? I mean, I can't... Where's his what? His muscles. His muscles? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Dana's got him. I, got yeah. him I mean, I guess he should be wearing, like, one of those, like, old-fashioned skirts, too, right? And, like, yeah, I think it's called a... I would have drawn, like, I would have drawn my cat, but I couldn't really do that because, yeah. you know, part of the constellation. Yeah, we didn't explore the constellation links, so... Kind of draw the kitty. One of my cats is named Hercules. Is named what? Hercules. Ah, I see. Yeah, fun, fact, fun fact, Hercules is his Roman name. Yeah, his original name was Heracles. 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 Yeah. Nicolette, what you gonna draw? Oh. Because that oh, Orion funny. didn't count. Oh, okay. Um, that's a great question. I know what I'm drawing. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw it the hard way. I'm trying to think about what one I want to draw to wrap it up to. No. <laughs> Football? It looks like one of those like squishy fish things. I think you know I might those? know what it is. Maybe uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Oh, that's a rock. Oh, now I know what it is. Wait, wait okay. maybe. Is that a rock, like Nicolette? A, with yeah, uh, chains? That is, that is a rock. Okay. I know. That that's and those, those are chains. That's a mustache. That's somebody. <laughs> with a mustache. There is a constellation that looks like a mustache in the planetarium. It's a cliff really? constellation. I can't remember the actual proper name because there's too many to keep track of. See, just put a face <laughs> there. And it's... <laughs> mustache. <laughs> that wasn't me. Like by the the, way. the face. Would I know you saw the orange, but it wasn't me. The face would be like up here, and this would be like the nose, <laughs> and then the mouth would be here. Like, if this is a mustache, then that's what it would be. Yeah, but I was thinking, like, his nose is here. Yeah, this and, like, is his, his nose. Like, that's his nose. But so that's not like a mustache. A Luigi nose. That's a head. It's like, like oh, the, the, the chains. Here. You know what I'm saying? The chains. Yeah. Okay, I get oh, it. I would, love to see, yeah. I, would, I would love to see you guys make a jack-o'-lantern, you know, in the fall. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't, I don't know. I think we just proved that Greg and I can't work together. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say Maybe. uh so any guesses actually, let's do guesses from people watching of what Nicolette is drawing. There's a rock with chains and it looks like there's a lady. There's yes, one constellation think. that really stands out to me here. Think mythology, friends in the chat. Think mythology. It's definitely uh Ursa Major, the big bear. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are laughing. Like, am I wrong? <laughs> this, uh, this is not Ursa Major. That is I mean, another constellation. It just did turn into the purple version of the blue nose of the orange bear and the big blue house. I'm going to say it's Andromeda. Yep. E. 
Andromeda. Right. Okay, but where's the chains connected to? Like, there's no right. body. Well, I, could, uh, <laughs> I could connect the chains directly to her because I felt like that was unnecessary. So I drew a rock with some chains and then the sad Andromeda. Wait, okay. is she like chained to the rock? Who's yeah. yeah, yeah, oh, chained like to the Prometheus? rock? Like Prometheus? Yeah. No, uh, well, yeah, differently. She was more, one of these is more of a punishment. Hers is like a sacrifice because her mother did something stupid. So. Well, like uh -huh. the myths actually interlock. So, like, she was put there to be sacrificed to the monster because her mom said something awful. And then Perseus came to save her. So, Perseus it has his, like, yeah, he went to go save some girl chained up to a rock. And then Andromeda's myth is a little bit more detailed with, yes, her mom said something awful, but in the end, Perseus does come to save her in both. And they get married and have a bunch of kids. What a guy. So Perseus <laughs> would be like over here with what? What does he have? Uh, I think it's word because like he had to kill word. a sea creature because Poseidon sent a sea creature to attack. The He's a star, but he also has something very not kid friendly in his other hey, hand. Hey, that looks like Hercules. Not kid friendly in his other hand? Yeah, okay. not very kid friendly. You know. Okay, we'll have to look that up later. So Perseus yeah. comes and saves Andromeda. And doesn't he fly in on Pegasus? Uh, no, I, he no, has no? a, an, according to the myth, he was given uh, uh, shoes, sandals with wings by Hermes. I thought yeah. he flew in on Pegasus, this little horse thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, Pegasus <laughs> does it, it is in the myth, but he's is not in that way. Uh, is that a whale with, <laughs> like, <laughs> coming out of the blowhole? It's a right, flying horse. It's here. obviously a flying horse. And then the like, I don't see it. the whale's tail. This is the eye. This is I the can, blowhole. You know, if I could just draw the stars, this would be a lot easier. Okay. <laughs> that really does look like a whale to me. Say not to ask. Really is that I don't a see a whale. Or a women horse. do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna count that as Andromeda, which Nicolette drew, and Pegasus, and, Pegasus <laughs> and Perseus. Okay, so I have, I'll do the last one. Well, actually, we'll let Melanie do tw go twi uh, three times, excuse me, because this was her idea. Um, what? I'm going to say that we already covered Cygnus and Aquila, because those were a part of the Summer Triangle, too. So we have Auriga, Cancer, Canis, Minor, Cassiopeia, Gemini, Hydra, Monoceros, Pisces, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Ursa Major and Minor. Um, Melanie, do, do you know what one you want to draw? I think so. Okay, because I'm I'm kind of torn between a few. So why don't you go ahead and, and go first and then... Okay, well, I'll do it because it's going to be so bad. Okay. <laughs> It'll be a real challenge, not on purpose. Okay, yes, love. Oh boy. What an attitude. I know what it is. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Looks like a duck. Oh boy. Oh, there's a little shooting star on our screen in the system. We're seeing more stars here because the sun is slowly setting in the west here um, with our Muncie simulation using Stellarium. I'll go ahead and put a link to that program um, in the chat so you can download it for free at home. I know what it is. Definitely. I'm really angry. <laughs> what it is? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's funny. Either it's, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> He's really mad. Like okay, so it's not Pegasus because we did Pegasus. It's a better horse type creature than I drew. I think is that's it, a horse type creature. Is it? I think it's, it's one of two things. <laughs> is it donkey from Shrek? Did you say donkey from Shrek? <laughs> <laughs> Did I catch that? Like. <laughs> okay, wait. This isn't. This isn't the guesses that I thought. I just like. Okay, there's two guesses in the chat. Emma says Taurus and. Bell says Taurus, and that's awesome. <laughs> so is it Taurus? It is. That's Wait, that is what? awesome. I you thought really? it was that, that, wow. Wow. that or Monoceros. Okay. Is it that or Monoceros? That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I like. That. I want to hear an arrow pointing under his foot. Is he scraping his foot like a bull? Yeah, he's he's, <laughs> he's digging in. He's getting ready to charge. Uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell because I couldn't tell if his horns were too too short or like you know. <laughs> okay, his horns. Bulls have. He's just a baby. Okay. Come on now. 
<laughs> I haven't seen that many bulls in real life. All right, so I'm gonna What's make this two constellations. So now it's Monoceros with that. You gotta put the mane too, right? The... So this is Monoceros with the horn, and then this is Horus with the not horn. Oh, jeez. It's beautiful. Okay, so Taurus. Monoceros is the unicorn constellation, if you didn't catch that. Um, so, plain. what? Just a plain old unicorn. Just a plain old unicorn. You don't need to have anything more special than that. Um, Emma Thank said you. that she knew exactly what you were drawing, Melanie, when you it started. It was for her, specifically. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so let's see. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to pick the really hard ones, or one that I don't know how to draw too well. Let's do that. <laughs> we'll see if we can get it. <laughs> a person. Yep, I know. I know what this is. Guaranteed. I think I might know what this is. It's like an alien. Alien. Oh, no, now I don't know what this is. Oh, elegant. Like, oh, now I know what it is. <laughs> this neck is way too long. I'm going to fix what, this. I'm going to fix the neck. <laughs> Jeez. So now these are... It looks like he just cut his neck off. <laughs> That's what you were doing. I'm going to fix this neck. <laughs> it was Candace from Phineas and Ferb. Just with a really, really long neck. Okay. <laughs> this is not up to my standards here. This is really bad. These are his feet. He looks like, he looks like the scarecrow <laughs> from uh, from the Wizard of Oz. If I only had a brain. That was that was a mistake. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, and then there's these little guys. Oh, this is really bad. This is really hard to draw. Oh, okay. What is that? We're good. I know. I know. Is that a dinosaur? Oh. <laughs> a dinosaur. It looks like a dinosaur. It does look like a dinosaur. I mean, he's not wrong. It's, yeah. not... <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not a dinosaur. There is no dinosaur <laughs> constellation. I know what it is. All the, the dinosaurs are on the Venus. The dinosaur did not the dinosaurs did not want to be up in the sky. They're there are dinosaurs on the sky. Sky. It's, it's missing some arms though. So it's true, Bell. It is missing some arms. All you need is a couple of sh short yeah. arms and you got a you got a little uh Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> it's one of my favorite animals that none of my friends want to buy me because they say it's a bad idea. Well, is that is it an animal that can hurt you? No. Okay, I'm well, done. If you this if is you get bad the big it's one. gonna get. Yeah, you can you can Yeah. You can get small ones and big ones just like you can get Okay. Like, Process of elimination. There's a person here, and there's only a few people left. There's Sagittarius, Gemini, Cassiopeia, and Auriga. I feel like it's the one I don't know. <laughs> so by process of elimination, there's only one I don't know now. <laughs> there's one I haven't done out of those. I'm probably going to say... I, I know what it is. Caleb, what do you think? It's just a guess, but I'm thinking of Raiga because like I, the other ones just don't fit. So yeah. And Nicolette, why do you know what it is? Um, because of your little buddies there. <laughs> <laughs> and what are these little buddies? They're goats. Goats. Oh. Yeah. They are goats, not dinosaurs. For those in the chat who wish to know, yes, you can buy small goats that don't get much bigger than the kind that can actually severely break your leg if they decide to buck you. Um, <laughs> so you can like get that. Not dinos. Yeah. You just need a couple like, I'm just saying that. like Caleb said, you just need a couple of those tiny little arms. <laughs> arms. <laughs> <laughs> this only one's like the worst like dinosaur the ever. Painting. Then they have like their nest and just so good. Yeah, in the nest. and he got then he got Jurassic Park, you know. Yeah, there should be a dinosaur constellation. There really should be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, darn As it. Mel said, though, Venus already has dinosaurs covered. Yes, that is because true. they used to think that there are dinosaurs there. Really? People used, used to. People actually thought that. 
Well, I think maybe like one person thought there might be or it said there might be, but I'm yet. not sure exactly how, um, you know, serious they were being. So. Uh, get it? Serious? Yep. So Sirius is in the sky right after sunset here in Muncie, which is what we're looking at. It's really clear simulation. Um, and Sirius is right here in the southwest, really bright. It's going to be visible even before the sun sets completely. Um, so we have this bright st uh, star Sirius. And what constellation is Sirius in crew? Canis Major. Canis Major. Canis Major, the big dog. And it's drawn like this, not like how what Melanie drew it. <laughs> yeah. as... Melanie's looked like a dog. She got There's the a, star in the right spot. Though, like, yeah, that's, that, that's that's great. Can for the Canis the major dog. and Canis minor there. Dachshunds are related to wiener dogs. Pretty sure Dachshunds. Ninety percent sure. Okay, but there's. Plus or minus ten percent. There's some like springtime constellations because those are winter constellations that are, that are leaving our sky. Um, one of the most easily recognizable constellations um, is Leo the Lion. Um, it's really easy to find by just looking for a backwards question mark in the stars. And you should hopefully be able to see it in your screen here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. But it's high in the sky in the south after sunset, a backwards question mark in the stars. I'm going to give you just a chance to find it yourself first. Okay. So if you're looking in the right direction, um, that's the bottom of the backwards question mark there. That's the star Regulus, and that's a part of the constellation Leo the Lion. Really, we've done so much tonight. Um, there's only so much you can remember to try to find tonight after sunset. Um, and Leo is one of them. So go outside after sunset, look high in the sky, and just try to find a backwards question mark. It's, if you're facing south, that'll help you um, find the constellation even more. I like my Leo better. <laughs> Your Leo was pretty legit. Oh. The yeah. nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Man, it almost looks like he has like he has fins or something. Yeah, they look kind of aquatic. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so Leo the Lion, backwards question mark. Got it. Or what else can uh the viewers see tonight here in Muncie crew? Uh, Orion. Yeah. Okay, so Orion oh. is kind of close to the horizon, but it is up in the sky still. So Orion is in the western sky. You got to catch it right after sunset, even before the glow of the sun goes um, away completely. So there's Orion. What else, crew? Uh, part of something. You can probably see Scorpius because Orion's setting. So. Mm, no, it's a little hard. Okay. Mm. Yeah, not yet. Scorpius okay. is more of summertime. All right. But good point, because, yeah, they are on opposite sides of the sky. But if Orion is still up a little bit, it's, it's still kind of below the horizon. What else? The, dip, the big and little dipper? Yeah, so the big dipper and the little dipper are pretty easy to find. Um, so we're going to look high in the sky above Leo to look for the big dipper. I'm gonna bring our view up pretty high in the sky here, and you should be able to see the Big Dipper, which is not a constellation, but a part of one. The Big Bear, Ursa Major, which, did someone draw that? I don't think we drew the, the bears. Nope. No. No, we did not. Um, I thought someone was going to draw it, or was drawing it, but they were drawing a dog instead, so. Okay, so the Big Dipper is up high in the sky, a part of the constellation of the Big Bear there. And you can use the Big Dipper. It's kind of pouring into the Little Dipper in the sky, which is a part of the constellation of Ursa Minor, the Little Bear, which kind of looks like a squirrel here in our simulation. <laughs> it even has whiskers like a squirrel. How do they see a bear? I don't see whiskers. I mean, oh, sorry. this is the tail. I mean, I'm. there's some stories, but 
behind how those tails got so big. We told them, I think when we covered the constellations mm -hmm. just a few weeks ago, Yep. maybe last week, it's been a long semester. All right, so again, the program that we're using tonight is Stellarium. The link to download it um, is in the chat. You can get it for free. Um, but I do hope that you'd go outside tonight after sunset and just explore the sky. It's going to be hopefully pretty clear out. Um, mm -hmm. And you should see the backwards question mark again for Leo the lion. And then right above it is the big dipper, which will help you find things like the North Star and the Little Dipper Polaris. Get Stellarium, explore the sky um, on your computer or on your phone through an app first and then bring that knowledge to the sky to explore the sky. Any final thoughts, crew, while we wrap up tonight? If you find all those, just make some of your own. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a lot of constellations here, so let's actually show them all. At least the ones we can see. <laughs> yeah, let's show the ones that we can see. The sky is mapped out. Every constellation has this kind of boundary to it, um, which is what we're seeing there. And then we can make the pictures out of the stars and see even more of them here. So we only explored a handful of constellations that you can actually explore on your own. You want to try to see scorpion or scorpius excuse me the scorpion since caleb mentioned it let's wrap up with that um so the springtime constellations are only going to be in the sky so long we have the summer constellations Ooh. and so if we speed up time and go farther into the evening we'll kind of get a sneak peek at what is going to be rising right after sunset later this year As we speed up time, the Earth is spinning and we see the stars appear to move here, getting higher in the sky in the east. Notice that there's one star that's not really changing its position too much in the north. There's the North Star, Polaris, the end of the handle of the Little Dipper, or the end of the tail of the Little Bear. Oh, there's a scorpion. Oh, there he is. Yeah, opposite Orion the Hunter in the sky. Orion, of course, being a more of a winter constellation, the Scorpion being a summer constellation. Very cool. I did have the right number of legs, so that's good. <laughs> and then here's Lyra the harp here. I think I drew like a mirror image of the star pattern, but you know, I got the pattern okay. Here's the little like parallelogram and the bright star there for that constellation. All right. Everyone, thanks so much for working hard on the Constellation crew this semester. And um, most of you were here last semester too, except for Greg. Greg just jumped right in and um, yeah. really brought a lot to the crew here. And thank you so much for watching everyone. Uh, we hope to maybe do kind of a reunion episode over the summer, but the summer goes by really fast and our students here are quite busy over the summer um, with their personal projects. But we'll try to do something. And if not, um, we'll be back in the fall, even if we are open again for the public uh, here at the Brown Planetarium at Ball State University. We're still going to do this Constellation Crew to give you something to watch online at home. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend. Take care. Bye. Bye.